we're afraid that the gospel may offend. We're afraid that if I would share the gospel with someone, uh, that they're going to get upset. That, that you know, uh, you, two things you, they say you, ne- you should never speak about. Politics and religion, right? Somebody has taught us this, this saying and we live by it thinking that that is truth. That is not truth. If that was true, then God would have never commissioned us to go and preach the gospel. We've been captivated by an idea that Satan has put in the world. And if we are truly born again and children of God, we cannot contain ourselves but to speak of the great work and the grace of God that has happened in our life. You know what it's like? You buy a product and you are just amazed by it. And you just cannot contain yourself but to spread the good word to others. True? Now, a new restaurant opened up in Illawong next to my house. And uh, we went there, Sharon and I, and we were just blown away with how good the food was. Let me tell you, it didn't take long before I told many people about it. And it didn't take long before I was inviting people to come and taste it. Now, don't get offended if I haven't invited you yet. Maybe your turn will come one day. Yeah, Bobby, it's coming. But uh, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, when we get excited about something, uh, we, we, it's just within us. It just flows out. We, we're so excited about telling people about it. I wonder whether we are still excited about the gospel. I wonder whether the gospel is still fresh in our life. I wonder whether we still reflect upon the grace of God of what it did for me. Now, I'm thankful that God brought us to this country 45 years ago. Had we not been here, I don't think I don't think we would have had the opportunity afforded to us to hear the gospel and be saved. God had to remove us out of our kindred and nation and tongue so that we would be ready to receive the gospel. And God will do marvelous work in you, through you, in you and through you to help others to know the gospel of Jesus Christ. But we need to learn this one truth. We ought not to be ashamed of it or of our Savior. Some of us feel like our tongue is tied when it comes to the gospel, right? I mean, we we can converse about anything. We can talk about sport. We can talk about work. We can talk about, you know, movies and and movie stars. And we can talk about music. We can talk about, uh, you know, the different things. But when it comes to the gospel, something happens and we feel, I can't spit it out. Ever been that way? Ever been that way? Well, I wonder how much of that is our timidness with the gospel because we have fear. 